Hello from your ITC geeks. My name is Trappa Hallam, and in this quick tip video, we're going to talk about how to hide your overall grades in Schoology. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you've run into it, you've noticed that the gradebook in Power School and the gradebook in Schoology don't always report the same score. That's because they don't calculate it the same. Without going into great details, Schoology tends to have a little bit of rounding in there, so they result in a little bit higher of a score. For a teacher, that can be complicated, and it can be confusing for students and parents. So, if you've run into this, and this is an issue for you, we're going to show you today how to hide that in Schoology, so the only overall grade that you can see is in Power School. First, let's show you what it looks like on the student side to see that overall grade in Schoology. So, I'm going to navigate down here to my son's course. He signed in. These are all example grades. This is nothing he's done. This is just my demo course, but you can see here he's done fairly well. So if you look at it, you can see he's got a period grade. So ours is ITC Geeks. It keeps it open a little longer. Yours will say quarter one or quarter two or semester, whatever you've set it to per the district. So you can see he's doing great. He's got a 95% and yet he can still see all of his individual grades. And then down at the bottom, you can also see his overall course grade. So this would combine if there was quarter one and quarter two in an exam grade if you were in secondary, and that would combine that into an overall score. Mine show the same because there's only one grading period. But regardless, that's what they see currently. And again, that may be higher than your power school grade. So to hide this is the solution. So let me show you how to do that. Now we're going to jump back into my actual Schoology course and we're right here i'm going to go over here into the grade setup of my school g course and you'd want to do this for each of your courses so i'm going to click on grade setup and then all of these settings here we're not concerned with in this video the two that we are concerned with are the ones at the bottom the one that says hide overall grade and student grade report and the other one that says hide grading period grades in student grade report now we're going to go ahead and click both of those and we're going to click save changes don't forget that part otherwise you'll not save the changes and you will figure out why it's not working. So now that we've saved the changes, let's go back to my son's grade. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and refresh because now that the changes are there, what you should notice is right away that the grading periods for ITC Geeks have disappeared. And if you scroll to the bottom, there is no overall grade there. So all they get to see is their individual scores in Schoology. With having two grade books, this is the best setup for you. It relieves any confusion and any undue conversations that you may have between parents and students. It keeps it simple. They can still see their grades. So I hope this tip was helpful from you, for you, and we'll see you next time and have a good day.